Alright guys, so I've been getting into the whole wood timber craze for quite a while now. I just got myself a new wooden table, got some new wooden accessories, and a few other gadgets and things like that. And just as I thought I was over and done with this wood craze, along comes Nano Leaf with their new wood look hexagons, which look amazing, and I just had to get my hands on it. So a big thank you to Nanoleaf Singapore for sending them to me for this review. They sent me the Smarter Kit which contains 7 panels and an Expansion Kit which contains 3 panels so altogether I have 10. So you can either purchase the Smarter Kit on its own and you know just expand it along the way if you think you need more panels. But today we're going to take a look at what's so special about these new wood look panels and how they can fit into your home's aesthetic. So let's firstly address the most obvious thing, which is the look of these new hexagons. Now, comparing them to the shapes, they have this wood grain look that looks great when the lights are turned off. You can see the ones that are turned on at the back and the one that I have here with me. So it gives a different aesthetic. You can now have it as a piece that doesn't need to be lit all the time. So in the day, you can just have it as wooden hexagons that's just sitting on your wall and it looks great in living rooms. And at night, you can have this very subtle glow of these uh, panels that just make the whole place feel a bit more warmer. And it adds a calmness to your whole space and that's basically what they were going after. They didn't go after like that whole RGB thing. Could you imagine RGB with wood? That kind of looks a bit weird. Now, when you first open the box, you get a couple of manuals and setup guides which are of course very helpful to get you started and give you some ideas of the different patterns that you could explore. Inside, you'll find the wood panels with a very convenient handle to just pull out the hexagons. Now, I must say that they came up with a very creative box that looks exactly like what you're going to get so you get a good scale of the product and I think moving forward, I think they should do that for all the other hexagons. Now, besides the wood panels that look great by the way, you also get the control unit, a couple of connector links and some extra double-sided adhesives. Below that, you'll get the power brick with a 2 and 3 pin adapter option. Now, the setup of these nano leaves are just like any of their products. It's extremely simple and easy to do. All you need to do is have a clean wall and know where your first hexagon is going to be placed. Now, once that first hexagon is in place, the rest are pretty simple. You just have to connect them with the links and create your pattern. So you don't have to worry much about sticking to a specific pattern. Along the way, if you feel like you've outgrown that look, you can always change it up, you know, and you can even add more panels by buying the expansion pack. So it's all up to your imagination. Go crazy, go with symmetry, go with some abstract pattern, or even spell out your name if you have enough panels. But basically, you can remount them by using kind of any double adhesive tapes like the 3M ones. They've been working well for me. I've reconfigured mine a couple of times. The panels are not too heavy, so any kind of 3M adhesive should work well. The one thing I did find a bit weird was that the Smarter Pack in the Nanoleaf shapes came in bundles of 5, 9, and 12, whereas the Woodlook Hexagons came in a bundle of 7. So that's kind of why I have an extra piece right here. Um, these were the original mounts for the Woodlock Hexagon um, 9 panels and because I have 7 plus 3, it's 10. That's why I have an odd piece. Not too sure why the packaging is a bit different from that. Nano Leaf, if you guys know, do answer it in the comments below. But uh, yeah, just a question I had. Now, I do have to bring up a flaw in these panels which are pretty obvious by now. And those are the shadowed corners of these hexagons. While I do understand that there might be some design or technological limits to these panels not being able to get a fully lit panel, I thought that this was something important I should share with you guys. Now, of course, the Woodlock hexagons are compatible with the Nanoleaf app, which gives you a lot more control over the settings of these lights. From the app, you can control specific things like the brightness of it, the patterns, and you know, just go crazy and explore the different options that they have. At the moment, I didn't find many presets for the Woodlock hexagons in my app, but I did speak to the people at Nanoleaf Singapore and they gave me a screenshot showing me a couple of different presets that were available. So it might be a problem with my app, I might need to um, update it or reinstall it, but basically they are coming out and you can expect to see a lot more of these presets and patterns available for you to download. So in terms of the color temperature range, you can obviously adjust it by just going into the app and you can see that there's a range from 4000 kelvins to 1500 kelvins. And by just moving the slider around, you can see 
just behind me that it's getting a cooler white look. And then as you go up, it gets a bit warmer. And of course, the center ring is where you can adjust the brightness and the saturation of it. Um, ignore that flicker that you see there, that's just my camera uh, not being able to pick up the LEDs. But honestly, just looking at it like that, it, the flicker thing isn't an actual thing. It's just something to do with the camera shutter. I honestly prefer the cooler whites. I feel it's more cooling, maybe just because I live in Singapore and it's a bit warmer, but um, you have a lot of options right there. There's also a, a few presets that I have here. One of it I really like, which is like this fire glowing effect that gives you like a fireplace kind of vibe. Um, if you live in a cooler country, maybe this is something that can give you some psychological calm, you know? Uh, but this is the exact point of the Nanoleaf would look hexagons. It's to create this sort of calmness and oasis in your home where you can just cuddle in a corner and read a book or something like that. It's very different from the ones that they made previously, the Nanoleaf shapes, the Nanoleaf uh, panels that came out first. Those were all RGB and very, you know, very strong and very vibrant. Uh, they're going with a very calm and subtle look this time. And also hence why I'm wearing a bit more of a neutral shirt this time, if you guys noticed. But anyway, um, I'm really happy with these. These look really good in my living room where it's a bit more calm, not like my room where it's a bit more chaotic. But uh, do check this out for yourself. The wood look is very nice. I would like to see a lot more of these kind of um, natural patterns being emulated into these products for our homes. I can see this coming in a marble finish, a stone finish, you know, um, or maybe even different types of wood grains, you know, go for a more cherry wood or darker wood, you know. Uh, but that's just all ideas for Nano Leaf, if you guys want to take that on. But again, if you guys have any questions, do leave it in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. If not, head over to nanoleaf.sg to find out more and uh, pick up one of these for yourself. Start off with the starter pack and then go crazy with the expansion pack if you want to create more patterns and you know fill your whole room with nano leaf lights. But once again, thank you guys for watching. I hope this has been informative and helpful for you guys. Um, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.